Okay guys, I have an official stance. I don't like the use of CGMs in people without diabetes. I think the information can get confusing and strange and it can be fear mongering and make people afraid to do anything. And I just, ugh, I just hate it. Don't get me wrong, I totally love CGMs. I love looking at that data with patients, but honestly, even my patients with very well controlled diabetes, I find that we're not really getting much out of their CGM data. So I am currently wearing a Dexcom Stello, and today I really wanted to see if I could test the limits of my blood sugars. So I went to Tim Hortons and I got a medium ice cap made with milk and a vanilla cream donut, and that was 93 grams of carbohydrates. I did get the message from my Stello that my blood sugar spiked, but to my surprise, I actually never went out of range. My range is set from 70 to 140 because I do not have diabetes and it never went above 140. Then today for lunch, I had a Wegmans poke bowl. This was 74 grams of carbohydrates. So not a low carb meal by any stretch of the imagination, but definitely less carbohydrates than the Tim Hortons meal. And they had 20 grams of protein and seven grams of fiber. There's lots of different vegetables and good things in there, quinoa. And to my surprise, my blood sugars went well over 140. They were in the 160s in my time above 140 was actually well over an hour. So this meal actually raised my blood sugars way more than the donut and ice cap. This does not mean that I should stop eating vegetables and just have donuts. I understand this, but not all patients quite get this and they can get very confused about this weird information. If I were to have the same breakfast and the same lunch tomorrow, I might have a different response. My blood sugars might do something different. So we can't look too deep into this data and I personally feel like it's just a waste of time.